Hello everyone and welcome again in Digital Image Processing in MATLAB course. Today we are going to convert an RGB image into HSV color space. So let's quickly read our image first and which is in our case we are using a, a default image which comes with from with the image processing toolbox in MATLAB which is papers.png. So let's uh, try to display this image how it looks like this image is uh, like just like this. So uh, it contains different type of vapors and uh, now we uh, this because this image is a RGB image so we can display separately the models of a red image, green image and a blue image. So how to display different uh, colors images just it all you have to do is to type m show and all value of x and y but only the first will show the red so now you are only visualizing a red image although it looks like a grayscale image because now it only have one dim uh, two dimension image not a three dimension image so now let's um, uh, try to display the green uh, image so now you are visualizing the green image and uh, similarly you can see the blue one so now you are seeing the blue one the more uh, brighter is the more uh, blue there so um, now what you want to do is to convert this RGB image into HSV image. So all you have to do is to call the built-in function which MATLAB image processing toolbox provide is to convert let's say call it HSV of X is equal to uh, you can name whatever variable you want and uh, you, you need to uh, call the function RGB to HSV and you need to pass on your color image which must be uh, RGB image and when you finally hit enter and if you try to display this image it will somehow look like this so this is your final HSV image now let's take a break and uh, go to the Wikipedia and try to understand what actually HSV image is basically HSV is a huge saturation and value instead of red green and blue combination of color images the, co the color representation is an alternative representation of the RGB color model designed in 1970 by computer graphic researchers to more closely align with the way human vision perceives colors so basically HSV is kind of a precision which human perceives colors like uh, human do not perceive colors in RGB uh, properly so human perceives uh, just like the HSV models so basically HSV representation model the way paints of the different color in mix together uh, if if we come to the help of MATLAB uh, of the function that we just used of RGB to HSV function it defines something like that that HSV uh, return matrix M by N by three numeric arrays HSV image returned as an M by N by three numeric array with values in the range 0 to 1 so everything is ranging from 0 to 1 the third dimension of HSV defines the hue saturation and value of each pixel respectively so as described in this table uh, what it describes that U is value goes from 0 to 1 which corresponds to the color position in a color wheel so what the color wheel have the color wheel actually goes from a red to orange then yellow then green then cyan then blue magenta and finally back to red so that's a hue color wheel so hue color wheel grows, goes from red to red but uh, ranged from uh, orange yellow green cyan blue magenta and finally back to red the second uh, array which is a saturation is actually the amount of hue or uh, uh, departure from the natural zero means indicates that natural shade it is basically a shaded value and one indicates the maximum saturation of that color so basically uh, if uh, you are talking about a red color so how much uh, red is saturated in that pixel 
so if it is a natural representation of the red it the value will be zero but if the representation goes from uh, dark and bright red or the most saturated red then it will be one and the finally value which also corresponds as the brightness it are actually defines maximum value among the red green and blue components of a specific color so the maximum value among the red green and blue components uh, the data type of HSP depends on the type of RGB image that you provide. If you provide the RGB image of type single, then HSV will be type of single. But if you provide a double, it will be a double. So the uh, returned value from the RGB to HSB function could be a type of double or single depending upon your input RGB image. You can also get back your original RGB image from MATLAB and you have uh, the function you have for this is basically HSV to RGB function. So if you have some image which represents the HSV uh, color map, you can convert that HSV image back into the RGB image by just passing your HSV image to the HSV to RGB function and the value you get is uh, uh, back the original RGB image so if you try to see this back underscore X image it will be your original image so uh, now you can see how to convert between RGB to HSV and HSV to RGB this two methods will become very handy when you start learning the image color segmentation so if you want to segment the image based on their colors this these two functions will be very handy most of the time if you are not actually uh, segmenting the red green or blue colors you are basically if you are uh, uh, segmenting different colors than uh, rgb then you uh, mostly convert them into hsv color space and then pick a specific color so the first step of the color segmentation of the image is to properly understand which color space you want to use for the segmentation. Now if you come back to the Wikipedia page and scroll a little bit down in the figure 21a, uh, you will see that a color photograph and then 21b will show you a hue shifted. So uh, here you can see the example of the hue if you have some image where hue is not properly ad adjusted while taking that photograph you can adjust that hue in your image processing uh, techniques. Uh, so uh, what does uh, this actually do by shifting a hue with some kind of factor let's try to understand this in our MATLAB code and see how it looks like in MATLAB. Let's load over image of HSV of the X value and we will see that how it looks like. So it will looks like something this. So now we have the value of uh, HSV uh, underscore X all the uh, value of rows and column but the only first uh, which is the hue. And uh, what we uh, can do is uh, we can actually let's um, make this uh, uh, multiplied with some kind of factor let's see you multiply it with 0 0.3 and uh, now if you uh, load this image it will look here so if you load an original image versus this new HSV shifted image you will see the difference if there is some difference let's load first image and uh, let's subplot 2 1 and 1 is the uh, original image which is hs uh, which is x and uh, let's title it uh, over um, original image and uh, let's subplot 2 1 2 with the image show you end 8 and let's call it uh, HSV to RGB 
and uh, HSV X and uh, title it shifted by 0 0.3 and uh, let's try to perceive if we see any difference okay so here you see that you get all the black image so where did we make some mistake uh, if you uh, type hsv underscore s you will notice that some value um, goes uh, above the one uh, especially hsv x and in the value of one where you have only the hue so we need to be very careful when we are actually uh, uh, simulating the hue adjustment and uh, we do not uh, increase the value ranging from 0 and 1 so we have something to do with this and uh, let's load the value uh, the image again peppers.png and let's uh, It's actually an E here and uh, close all and load this image yes it's our original image and uh, let's again load the HSV RGB to HSV of the X so now we have the HSV image let's uh, call the hue of X and uh, HSV X all rows and columns but only the hue value and uh, let's call s of x hsv x all hue and row and column but only the saturation and similarly for let's get the hsv x of uh, all those columns but only the third one here now we have separated H S and V matrices now what next let's only change the Q value here uh, H of X is equal to let's mod this H uh, and let's call it new and uh, mod this h of x value uh, multiplied with uh, some factor let's say uh, 1.5 or anything and uh, let's uh, force it to between 0 and 1 and uh, now remake an image back with the these new matrices so new hsv will be like uh, let's try to concatenate h x new with the s of x which is the old value and uh, v of x which is also the old value uh, right now let's see how our new hsv uh, looks it is something like this and uh, if we try to perceive this back in the rgb image we need to call a new let's call it new x and uh, rgb uh, sorry hsv to rgb function and pass this new hsv image to this function and uh, let's see uh, how our new x now right so now we have our new uh, rgb image and uh, if we want to uh, see our old image to quickly see the difference between the two here you can see that we had shifted the hue of these two images and in the color domain now these images looks like this so um 
I am putting a link in the description of the code and all the references that I had used in this tutorial you can go along all the references and you can see by yourself how this looks like and um, let's uh, uh, title it uh, original image and uh, so this is uh, this this was not the original image actually modified and uh, let's see yes and then uh, now let's see if we can change the title of this yep so now we have one original image and one modified image you can also uh, try uh, shifting hue value and uh, uh, with the different form factors and just to make sure that your hue is not incre increased uh, from uh, one uh, zero to one range so you can use the mod function uh, to uh, let them back fit in the uh, zero to one value so that's all for today's hsv to rgb and rgb to hsv lecture and uh, uh, shifting hue value so i am putting a link uh, in the description of the code and the references and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more images like this uh, more videos like this thank you so much